two. <laughs> Chan's men were after me. They kind of are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I, I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey! Where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else! Stop! It's too risky! I'll find your dad! It's the least I can do! I am not gonna let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past! That's not! Why I want to help you. This ain't the last you've seen of Moda Luca. I can do this sentence standing on my head. Thanks to my circus training. There's the paperwork. We won't be seeing Mo DeLuca back on the street for at least eight years. Thanks to those parking tickets. Another job done and the final day of my 36-year-long career finished. And all without a single blemish. Hey, Pat. I'm here for Mo DeLuca. <laughs> Vinny Papalardo ran the biggest gang in Lego City. And now, he wanted to see me. His ice cream parlor was a gathering place for local hoodlums. There was Tony one time. So called because he said everything once. Hey! Polly blindfolds. No, tell him I can't see him today. Lucky Pete. Good to see ya! Whoa! No! Ah! Hey! I found the penny! The crayfish twins. <gasps> Sorry! Wrong table. And Mikey spoilers. Check it out. When you get to the space center, you can knock down a planet from the ceiling to get a secret item. I'm here to make you laugh? You think I'm funny? Funny how? Uh, 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 I, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't Get mean to- Get out of here and unload that truck! <coughs> hey, you must be Chase. You come highly recommended. I won't forget what you did for my cousin. Oh, ignore the clothes, kid. It's my boy's birthday. I wanted to give him a nice surprise, you know? I've been looking forward to getting my hands on the stuff you got me for some time. They're called color guns, and they're of particular benefit to the less than legitimate fraternity. You know, us guys. Now, I need someone to see if these things really work by stealing the Bell Pepper Emerald from the Lego City Bank in downtown. You want to put one through its paces? Well, I've come this far. That's right. And don't worry about how to use it. I'll have a read through these instructions and phone them through to you. Good luck, Chasey! I am going to have to shower for a week after this. Sorry! 
I'm meant to have this place on Tuesdays. But do people listen to me? No! And they call this organized crime. Whoa! Sheesh! That is one small step, Foreman! Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Hey! That's my car! It's not your car! You are so possessive! Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his. Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock! Help! Somebody help! There's Blackwell! I'm being abducted! Against my will! Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can. I mean other than my abductors. We're here. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell, I, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours? Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> oh, that rhyme. Where's my backup? You're meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Uh, sir? I'm Chase. I think Ellie told you I was coming. She certainly did. Nice to meet you, Chase. Duke Huckleberry's a name, and I know all about you. Excuse me for saying so, because I know you made a mistake. But shipping you off sure seemed a bit harsh, especially as you got that witness to come forward in the first place. Yeah, well, I learned from my mistakes. I won't do anything that stupid again. Whoa! You okay? Yeah, fine. Do you have a grapple gun with you? Well, I sure do. You're welcome to one of those useless pieces of junk. Darn things didn't help me one little bit with old Bessie. Huh? Striped bass. Great. About yay long? Ooh. What? Nothing. Anyway, uh, I'd better go. I've gotta go arrest some robbers. Sure. Uh, good luck with that grapple gun. These things can be tricky to use. Whoa! Ooh, it's a good thing I don't have vertigo or some other ridiculous phobia. Tell me who you're working for. Uh, it's, uh, uh George. Uh, George, uh, Fod, Tom, Benson, Barry. Aw, uh, come on. I, I can't tell you. I, he'll take me apart. All right, I work for Rex Fury. Rex, where is he? I don't know. I never see him. He just phones me. Then who would know? Search me. Maybe Blue. He's the fixer in Albatross prison. Go see him. Just, just don't let me fall.
You seem very well informed for a car thief. <laughs> yeah, well, I pick things up. Not anymore, you don't. George? George Fartar Bensonbury? Hey! Long time no see, Dave. Hey, are you blue? Mm. I've had better days, Sonny. I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about Rex Fury. Rex Fury? That man owes me. For helping him escape? Oh, why would I do that? Rex was my biggest customer until he disappeared, <laughs> owing me for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? <clears throat> Speaking of which... Careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Sure, Blue! So how did Rex escape? Well, that's the question on everyone's lips. Except no one's allowed in his cell to find out. Not even the police. That's not right. But we both want to see Rex back in here. So I've got an idea. Get some gear from the cupboard in my cell. Then I'll call you with more information on this. That's a croissant. We aren't allowed phones in here. The phone's inside it. Put your number in. Go! Oh. <laughs> there. I hope this plan of yours works, Blue. Uh, are you free, man? No. No, I am not Freeman. His lawyers might be watching. What's the matter, Haywood? You don't like your new car? Car? <laughs> Need a hand? I couldn't hurt. Think you're up to getting all those fellers back in their shells? All in a day's work. What's happening out there? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I also don't know why those guys are dancing together. And how did he get that saucepan on his head? Hmm. There is a lot I don't know. Let me out! Let me out! McCain! Warden Stonewall called me. I won't tell you what he called me, but it wasn't nice. It was a nincompoop. It looks like Rex used this hammer to dig his way out of prison. It came from the Bluebell Mine. Give me that. If there's any deducting to do, I'll do it. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. It's a hammer. And where's it from? There's no way to tell, but the Bluebell Mine seems as good a place to start as any. You see, uh, there was a theft there a few months ago. I'll get over there right away, Chief. Not so fast, McCain. Sheriff Huckleberry can look into it. Stay away from the mine. That's an order. Hey, Chief, can I get a shot for the Herald? Uh, you sure he didn't use this? Watch the birdie! I'm looking for Clarence Stinky Fletcher. Other end of the main cavern. <sighs> you can't miss him. I tell you, I sure won't when he retires. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> there he is! Blow the charges! <gasps> With the detonator! <laughs> <coughs> what the crab cakes? <laughs> All right, which
which one of you lot did that? For the last time, will people stop playing with dynamite? Oh, and you! Get some safety gear on! Uh, aye, aye, sir! Long time no see, McCain. Rex Fury! Looking for someone? What's that? Wow. Leave him. There's nothing he can do. My guy says he's found someone to steal us a nice new truck. Courtesy of the Lego City PD. Oh! Turn that noise off! Ow, ow, ow. Did an ice cream truck hit me? It looks that way, but no. You got beat up, Chase. Good thing Dunby sent me up here. Duke, ow. I was looking for a miner, but... Rex got to him first. Try not to speak. Natalia, you came here for me? <laughs> no. He'll be fine. Then why? I was in the area. Her daddy's gone missing. What? Don't worry, Natalia. I'll find him. I'll find him. Without you. I never should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex has got her daddy, and you're planning on rescuing him, then you're gonna need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. He knows Kung Fu. Mm. Barry Smith. 24-hour plumber and Kung Fu guru? Unblocking pipes and chakras since 1987. Huh. It's worth a try. I'm here to see Be- Shh! Have a listen to this. Welcome to Learn Kung Fu While You Sleep. Relax. You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Show me. And plumbing? Maybe I should start you off against a few of my students. You have done well. Take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. Do you mind if I drive it from here? I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. I can't wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. Oh! <gasps> My public! Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck! Good old Frank Honey delivers again! Coming through! Honey! Honey! Sorry, madam. Hi there, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. Dunby! Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, that's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? Uh, that's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, y yes! <laughs> hmm. 
Well, that was broke when I got here. Blackwell! Blackwell! Say cheese! Can I get a picture? Watch the birdie! Say cheese! Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Where are you going? Where are you going? Blackwell, sir, don't leave me! It's my job! Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! <laughs> what are they doing in there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Chase! Oh. Natalia! I thought Chan's men were after me. They kinda are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I, I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah, I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's gang, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey, where are you 